hey 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 you guys we're back with another video girl let me make sure i got this uh camera oh yeah that's better honey so y'all i'm here to go over my hair regimen which um those of you who've been following for a while it will be revealed that not much has changed but what is going to have to change is some of the styling products i use i will have to say how i style my hair would definitely have to change just a little bit in some of the products that i use because i've gone from an area that is extremely dry phoenix arizona and by the way i went natural in phoenix arizona i went natural when i was 30. phoenix to now humid as bipolar as sorry humid weather bipolar weather here in East Dallas or Dallas DFW area. So I'm gonna take my hair down so y'all can see what, what she's been doing. My hair is, um, when you take four CDEFG hair and decide that you want to straighten it, it's gonna be disrespectful. Um, that's just, it's what it is. Um, but it's so fluffy, so, so very fluffy. So this is what my hair is looking like. Um, this is three days after a flat iron <laughs> yeah she's very fluffy but i'll just put it down so you have to see what it looks like and as i stated in my flat iron video i do this because i love the styles i can create normally i like to get two minimum two hairstyles from a blowout flat iron um and so i'm going to be doing this is my hopes and dreams, is to do a pin curl and to do a flexi rod. That pin curl definitely is coming, but the flexi rod, I'm not so sure, y'all, because the weather is so crazy right now. And the pin curls I'm going to be doing, I've done pin curls before on my hair. I'm going to be doing, um, I have some alligator clips coming in, you know, the old school metal. It looks like a silver looking with the alligator teeth. So I'm gonna be doing my pin curls like this. Girl, <laughs> Girl why are you playing? Um, how was I gonna do it, y'all? Oh, 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 like this. I'm gonna wrap it around. My hand like this. And I've done pin curls before. And then I slowly take it out and then literally, okay, that, that ain't gonna work. That ain't gonna work. Roll it up. And then you pin it. Yeah, um, it's been a while since I've done them and I've never done it on this length of hair. So anyway, you guys, let's get to what the meaning of this video is going to be about. Since I have moved, like I stated, from an area that is very dry to an area that is extremely humid. Um, even though it's springtime here in um, Texas and it's not necessarily summer yet, we are still feeling the humidity um, because it's raining. It's, it's spring, it's raining. It's raining almost every week, sometimes twice a week. Let me tell you something. Within a week, within three weeks we have seen snow hail rain wind it is absolutely crazy y'all know how it is if you live in dallas it's crazy if you live in houston even worse <laughs> so i'm gonna be going over what i've been doing to my hair since we've moved here what i plan on doing and also some products i'm going to be purchasing i know i got rid of a lot of products recently like a hundred plus products and i'm not kidding you i i got rid of quite a few products and gifted them to some deserving women and so i definitely need to up my um my hair products because i don't actually have a lot of styling products exactly. so for the purpose of this video we're going to jump right into what i've been doing with my hair what products i've been using i'm also going to cover a little bit of the reviews that are coming up meaning product reviews i have several that are coming up i do apologize y'all it's a lot going on and overall how i've been taking care of my hair so as far as daily wear this is the second time I've blown out, hair, blown out my hair since I've been in Texas and not bad. You know, I'm okay with the fluffiness. I'm okay with it not being bone straight. I'm okay with this. This is a blowout slash flat iron. Um, I wash my hair. I have increased washing my hair to now weekly. No real reason for that, only because I just want my scalp to be healthy, okay? I am moisturizing as needed. Not a lot because honestly, you guys, I don't wear my hair out. 
I typically keep my hair in two strand twists, which would definitely be one of my um, my go to hairstyles in the summertime as it starts to get humid. And that's just something I normally do rock moisturizing my hair as needed. Oftentimes it's twice a week. Okay, washing my hair weekly. I deep condition now with every wash only because I have so many products I need to review. But I have a feeling that I'm going to forego. Now, now hear me out. I'm going to forego my rinse out conditioners and just switch to deep conditioner. I, I'm, I'm gonna talk about that later on. But I, I have a there's a there's a reason for my madness why I'm think I'm going to just skip the rinse out and just go straight to the deep conditioner because I. I feel like it's almost redundant, like you're wasting product. Because a lot of the times I like to use some of my rinse out conditioners in my deep conditioner. So why are we conditioning in the deep conditioning? So yeah, yeah, it, it took me 10 years to realize that. Um, as far as special treatments, protein treatments, not even going there yet. Because for a while there, I felt like I was having protein overload while we were in Phoenix. Not really going into that. Hot oil treatment, no, not really. I don't really do treatments. If my hair is in a healthy state and I don't really care for it, the only thing I will say that I do try to do um, is the hydrolyzed wheat protein every now and then. I need to purchase some from the Green Beauty Channel. Hey, girl, I absolutely love the product that she sells. Um, again, it's called hydrolyzed wheat protein. And the reason why I prefer the hydrolyzed wheat protein over... Hold on. ORS hair mayonnaise. The hydrolyzed wheat protein is at a smaller molecular um, structure to where it can actually penetrate the hair. This right here will penetrate it. It'll be great. But with this, it's not as great as using hydrolyzed wheat protein. So that is on my to-do list. And that is something that I try to do every two months. Okay. So for washing uh, my hair, I stick to Cream of Nature's. Argan oil from Morocco, sulfate free, moisture and shine shampoo. I absolutely love this stuff. Um, I also have TGIN's moisture rich, sulfate free shampoo. But every now and then you do have to get rid of that buildup, okay? And this is where clarifying shampoo comes in and I stick to Suave. It's very good. I have no problems with it. I've used just a little bit. Every now and then I may do an apple cider vinegar rinse, but I'll be, I would be lying to you if I say, yeah, girl, I, I make my own apple cider vinegar rinse quarterly. No. <laughs> 75 cents or a dollar from the Dollar Tree. This is what we as do. As far as rinse out conditioners, I stick to my Swall coconut conditioner, which I don't have an example of, or my Nifty V05. I love any of the moisture milk lines. This is a strawberries and cream. I also like to detangle with you no know, VL5 or with Suave, no problem. Sometimes if I remember, I may pick up a fresh aloe vera plant, cut it up and use the gel to help with detangling my hair. You guys, I've really gotten a lot better with detangling my hair. I know it could be um, a pain and I am a stickler for pre pulling I do believe in pre pulling because it just makes the entire wash day um, wash process a lot easier. I know we'll be linking in the card several videos on how I pre poo If I have some extra coins, I will purchase the African Pride um, pre-shampoo, which is great. But honestly, it has aloe vera. So you can get your, your hands on fresh aloe vera plant. It's the same thing, girl. Just add it to some conditioner and you're good. Okay, as far as deep conditioners, I've been using anything that I have on hand. I had some um, Queen Helen. I used up all of that so I can show you any examples of it. Um, I have several videos I need to be doing reviews on and those are gonna be my deep conditioners for the week. So again, Queen Helen, okay? As far as leave-ins, we have As I Am Long and Luxe pomegranate passion fruit grow yogurt love this stuff no problem with it also have onion hairdo moisturizing leave-in conditioner from what i understand for some of the small research i've done this is great for areas that is high in humidity so i'm gonna keep this on the roster i'm gonna keep this on the roster um giovanni weightless leave-in conditioner another good one and me and JV have both been still using Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner Repair Cream. They've changed their, um, I think they've changed something. Something's, they said they have a new look. 
they have a new look and I feel like this leave-in is a little thicker. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. But I feel like it is a little thicker. Do y'all feel that way? Some, something's different about this product. I'm not complaining like I stated. And it's working for me. Um, I still have my Nifty Difty hair oil mixture. This is mostly fenugreek oil, sweet almond oil, olive oil. I no longer use coconut oil just because we have a hate-love relationship. Um, What did I say? Fenugreek oil, sweet almond oil olive oil and jojoba oil that is it okay so i don't have a lot of stylers i really don't but when i do i have tgin's twist and define cream this is an example is an example but she's not in here instead <laughs> instead i use the last remaining um product that was in here and i still feel so bad about christia rest in peace she's the um was the ceo of tgin Anyway, so um, I used a little bit that was left in here and mixed it up with mango butter and shea butter along with some oils and make my own um, styling. It's a little thick, a little hard, but it's because it's cool. Actually, this part is not that bad. It's a little cool here in Texas right now. I also have the Coconut Mango Hair Butter by Kinky Tresses. I absolutely love this stuff. And then we have the Texture ID Coils Twist Butter. I like this. I still feel like it will be better with um, another style or like a gel. So this is everything that I am using now. As I stated before, definitely after I did that twist style, I can tell that I'm going to have to purchase some different type of mostly stylers. I think I'm okay with the leave-ins that I have. So some of the um, products that I have been looking at is Jane Carter. Jane Carter is great. Also, Onion. Onion is also good for um, high humidity areas. Talia Wajid. So my, my Amazon cart is picking up. I have about seven products that I've placed in there that I'm going to, once my pocketbook is a little bit better, I'm going to go ahead and purchase those products. But again, Onion, Talia Wajid, Miel is good for um, Miel and Main Choice actually are, are great for areas that are very high in humidity. I just wish that I could purchase the Jane Carter, that coils line. It was a, it was a line that was formulated for four type hair and we all know by now that Jane Carter was basically pushed out of her own, her own company, which is just sad as a hot mess, you know, but I am going to purchase a few products. I'm going to purchase also some products by Apogee. Um, remember that green tea reconstructor? It was in the spray bottle. And they have a leave-in that is supposed to be great for high humidity. You know, so I'm going to be purchasing those. And, I, and again, it will be another video coming. So please look for that. So I have some other products here. What to expect as far as reviews. So again, we have those cream of nature pure honey hair mask that's coming this is the rich honey um excuse me pure honey rich coconut oil creamy shea butter and avocado that's coming i got two of them i may need to get two more let's just be honest um again the blue magic cholesterol that's coming this is coming first because i'm excited about this we have the eden body Works split in repair mask okay and then i have this in my collection i'm like girl I was like, I, I literally have had this product for a while and then I checked my content and it looks like I've never done a review of this. This is the Aunt Jackie's Curls and Coils Intensive Moisture Sealant. So yes, I will. this is basically like to seal your hair. Um, I wouldn't call it a leave-in conditioner. I'll have to read the instructions. Oh, you can use this as a leave-in conditioner. I want to open it up. Can y'all wait for a second? You ain't got no choice. I want to see the consistency because I feel like, oh yeah, it's, it's, let's put it on. It's, it's like the can too before they made it thicker. That's what we have. I'm not gonna put this on my hair because, yeah. Yeah, so this is definitely a leave-in. Um, pretty sure you could use it as a, um, what am I trying to say? A styler, but I'm gonna use it as a leave-in. And I was at my Walmart and I was like, what? Olive oil deep treatment conditioner, rice water, and electrolytes. 
supercharge hydration and growth yes and look how big it is this look like it's about 18 ounces 20 ounces your girl knows her i'm a little off in the measurements what the hell oh it's a <laughs> y'all look how it look and i couldn't see it it's a plastic cover on it i thought that was water girl get it together so this is coming super excited my walmart has tons of products that i've never even seen before and again when it comes to hair products i don't want to review anything by a line that i'm not familiar with i know there's some great lines coming out and there's some great lines that have been out but i want to stick to the tried and true lines so yeah this is what i'm doing that's one two one two three four five reviews and then the pin curl the flexi rod that Busby and I have been talking about for like three years. That is it, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Be on the lookout for these product reviews.